Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to the online class of Greenfield School and College so today uh, we gonna solve some exercises from passage narration and uh, we learned the rules earlier so no point to discuss the rules once again so you try to connect what you learned earlier then things will be easy for us so before solving uh, any passage narration text we to go through the text once or two times and uh, another thing you to do we to trust what the speakers you know, who said to whom and what the listener like and after identifying speakers and listener and we to identify what type of sentences and tense are used inside the space so once we are able to trust the tense and sentences then it will be helpful for us to change them in indirect space so in case of past narration we to actually change the direct speech to indirect speech direct speech means where exactly speakers words are quoted mentioned so here you see that uh, in inverted comma inside inverted comma speakers words are given and we to change to indirect speech there uh, we'll narrate the things like from a third person perspective so let's read the first one father said to rena do you know why I have sent you to school? The daughter said, Yes, I know. I have been sent to school to learn to read and write. Right, father said. So what you understand, the conversation happens between father and Rena. And first sentence, do you know why I have sent you to school? So it's an actually interrogative sentence. And the second part, second clause is, I have sent you to school. It's present simple tense. So you know that uh, if there is past tense, it will be changed to present tense, will be changed to past tense. So present perfect, it will be changed to past perfect. So the daughter said, yes, I know. And for yes, we take repair in the affirmative. I have been sent to school to learn and to read and write. So another present perfect tense here. So we'll change it to past perfect. Right, father said. See our conversation ends. So if you want to change it to indirect speech, what happens first? Uh, we know that in case of integrative sentence, there are two ways to solve it. But, uh, whether you have to take uh, if or WS words so if you find WS words so it will be as it was otherwise you will take if so do you know it starts with do helping verbs that beta will take if so father asked Rina now in case of integrative sentence reporting verb becomes ask so it will pass from asked so father asked Rina if she knew why he had sent her to school so I have sent you to school so it would be like he had sent for you to actually Rina so her to school the daughter said yes I know I have been sent to school to learn to read and write so the daughter replied in the affirmative and said that she knew it and her conversation continues so you can add she also added that she had been sent to school to learn to read and write right father said so whenever you find a single word that victim uh, you have to ch change it or like adding the imaginary words now what could be the complete sentence then you will write that it will write so it could be like it is right so you can change it to it was right so we have finished first exercise so what we learnt here if we find integrative sentence that be term we will take if or whether and if there is WS words it will be as it was and present simple tense will be changed to past simple tense for yes we will take it put in the affirmative and if you find any single word We'll think about the complete sentence, then we'll change it. In this, it comes 
father asked Rena if she knew why he had sent her to school. The daughter replied in the affirmative and said that she knew it. She also added that she had been sent to school to learn to read and write. Father told Rena it was right. Let's start the next one. It says, why don't you attend the classes? The teacher said to the boy, you cannot expect good results unless you attend classes as I tell you. I'm sorry sir, I've offended you, said the boy. Thank you, said the teacher. So here also first sentence starts with uh, starts uh, integrative sentence is integrative sentence. So here as usual double s words are indefinite pronoun integrative pronoun there. So the conversion happens with teacher and a boy. And another point is that here you find thank you. So there are some words like phrases like thank you, congratulations, this much, welcome, this much. They become verb. So it will be thanked, okay, congratulated, welcomed, this much. So let's start changing into indirect space. So why don't you attend the classes? The teacher said to the boy so as it is interrogative so we'll take reporting verb ask so teacher asked the boy why so don't it will be didn't so why didn't you attend the classes didn't he attend the class you cannot expect good results unless you attend class as i tell you so actually who said it it is not mentioned but from the tone of the sentence we understand that actually it is delivered by teacher so in this case if one person speaks continues that better we add also added or also said she also said that he misty boy cannot for cannot will take could not she could not expect good results unless he attended classes as he told him i'm sorry sir i have offended you so the boy replied respectfully and respectfully said that he was sorry so for the word sir we'll take respectfully and added that he had offended him so i have offended you it will be like he had offended him thank you said the teacher so it would be the teacher thanked the boy So we have finished another exercise now let's move to exercise 3 it says the man said to the boy are you going to sit for JC examination this year yes said the boy the man said how is your preparation i have a good preparation replied the boy so here also uh, first sentence is interrogative so we'll take reporting verb ask so as there is no uh, ws words it will be if and are you going it is present continuous it will be changed to past continuous and for yes we will take the in the affirmative so is your preparation another question and it is i have a good preparation so for have we'll take had so the answer comes the man asked the boy if he was going to sit for jc examination this that year for this we took that so the boy replied uh, the boy said yes so the boy replied in the affirmative the man asked the boy again how his preparation was so it was like how is your preparation so it will be how his preparation was 
the boy replied that he had a good preparation so it was i have a good preparation so it will be changed to he had a good preparation so it is exercise 3 hopefully you are getting so what new things we learnt here and if you find an integrative sentence that doesn't start with ws words in this case we to take if and for present continuous it will be changed to past continuous for this we'll take that for yes we'll take replied in the affirmative and again how is your preparation it is like ws words there so it will be as it was only the helping verbs and tense will be changed and i have a good preparation it will be also changed like have would be changed to like had so he had a good preparation okay now exercise 4 it says once I said to a little girl what is your mother's name I know my mother's name but I will not tell you that said the girl i said what a clever girl you are so it's like uh, it's also first and it starts with the integrative sentence so it should be uh, do, uh, as there is ws words so no point to take if only uh, the helping verbs and tense would be changed and another point is that here we find an exclamatory sentence so what a clever girl you are so it's an exclamatory sentence in exclamatory sentence we know that a reporting verb could be exclaimed with surprise wonder joy happiness sadness grief this much so we'll understand the tone of the sentence that better we will take whatever it goes with exclaimed with okay so what is the answer it says once i asked a little girl what her mother name was so what is your mother's name so it would be like what her mother's name was i know my mother's name but i will not tell you that said the girl so as the previous sentence is questioned so in this much we, this this time we can take replied so the girl replied that she knew her mother's name but she would not tell me that i exclaimed with surprise that she was a very clever girl so it was like what a clever girl you are so as it is exclamatory sentence i told you earlier that in this case we should take exclaimed with surprise or exclaimed with wonder this much or exclaimed with sadness happiness if it is sad tone so here it is exclaimed with surprise so i exclaimed with surprise that she was a very clever girl So we have finished solving exercise 4 let's start exercise 5 the teacher said to the student have you prepared your lesson today no sir replied the student the teacher said why do you not prepare your lesson I was suffering from headache yesterday I shall do my work tomorrow replied the student so what new things we find here no for no we take reply in the negative and here also integrative sentence there so we'll take e for uh, ws words there and for yesterday we take the previous day or uh, and tomorrow the next day okay other things as usual for shell we'll take wood 
so the teacher asks the student have you prepared your lesson today so for today we'll take that day so the teacher asks the student if he had prepared his lesson that day no sir replied the student so as you know for as we know for no we'll take replied in the negative so it would be the student respectfully replied in the negative and the point is that for sir for the word sir we'll take respectfully or with respect then the teacher said why do you not prepare your lesson so for do you not means present tense it will be changed to past tense it didn't so the teacher asked the student again why he didn't prepare his lesson i was suffering from headache yesterday so the student replied that he had been suffering from headache the previous day so for wednesday yesterday we will take the previous day i shall do my work tomorrow so his speech going on so in this case what will happen uh, for shall we will take would and for tomorrow we'll take the next day so he also replied that he would do his work the next day so uh, we have finished so far five exercises from uh, direct speech to indirect speech so the last one uh, what we learnt what new things we learnt for no we will take replied in the negative for today we will take that day and uh, for yesterday we will take the previous day for tomorrow we will take the next day for shall we will take would and if you find an interrogative sentence the reporting bar will be asked if you find the word sir we'll take respectfully and in case of interrogative we can solve it two ways like we'll take if or ws words if there is ws words it will be unchanged only the tense will be changed so in this way we can solve passage narration so so far we have finished five exercises hopefully you understood this so my suggestion to you go for exercises from different sources solve the previous year board questions and you may find the model questions there and <coughs> different online sources you can get exercises there solve this so if you solve and you may uh, overcome the problems so if you find any problems talk to me send me message or knock me in my inbox i'll help you understand the things so that's all for today keep fine